Hi everyone, Cinderay9 here. We're back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Something that I haven't really got over. I really do like this theme. We've heard it before, but I don't think I ever mentioned it. It's just a n really, you know, catchy theme. Hmm. Well, looks like there's only one way to go. And this fight's actually different. This is a boss. This is Smilax. We'll just have everybody swing. La di da. It's shower time. There, there, my pretties. Hi ho dee dum. Gee, thanks, fly guy. So apparently this fly guy really considers himself a gardener. And we have two Smilax you have to fight now. Still not hard, just have everybody swing. Here we go. Ha! Nothing there. That's... Mario's accessory he has right now is really powerful. It's a powerful accessory. la -dee da It's recycled water! There, there, my pretties! hi ho dee da And yes, as the plant continues to grow, you will have more to fight. So, let's get through these three. Not uh, hard. I forgot to use a flower tap, didn't I? I was gonna use a, a flower tap for this before this fight started. Oh well. That's why we have maple syrup. It should be good enough. We'll see. Come on. There you go. Da. I added some nutrients. There, there, my pretties. Hi ho dee dum. And that nutrient shows the real boss. This is Mega Smilax. Now, Mega Smilax comes with two additional helpers, but don't think you're just gonna knock it out. It has much more HP. I would show you how much it has, but I really want to get this fight started on the right foot. So we're gonna cast Snowy. Mallow makes this fight <laughs> a breeze. Not quite enough. I think the small ones have like 225, somewhere around there. Now the boss has, I wanna say it's a K. It has like 1000 or something like that. And here's the dangerous attack. It has Petal Blast. This can, as you can see, cause the mushroom status effect. Now, if you have Toadstool in the party, this isn't that big of an issue. As long as Toadstool is immune to it. There's the key. The other thing he knows is Scarecrow Dust. Status effects will be your biggest problem in this fight. Once you get beyond that, the fight's very doable, especially if you use uh, Snowy. 
and actually do it well. <laughs> 96, and it hurts the, excuse me, the small ones more. <clears throat> Once you get past that, and you know what you're up against, just swing away until Mega Smilex is dead. Pedal Blast can really get you if everybody isn't immune to the Mushroom status effect. And if nobody's immune to it, you're really in for a tough time. Because you're gonna spend your times just you're gonna spend your turns getting hit by drain, more pedal blast, and dying while you can't do anything. But as long as the party is is, you know, immune to the to pedal blast. And there's its basic attack, which it hasn't shown off yet. If you can counteract Pedal Blast, you're pretty much set. Look what you did! smilax has been whacked! Ooh, I'm gonna get it! Queen Valentina told me to keep everyone out of Nimbus Land! What should I do? I know! I'll run away! Bye. Now, I just see a little uh, leaflet floated down. Now, I guess my better judgment, I'm actually going to take it now. I believe you don't have to take it now. You can wait, but I'm going to take it now. Hmm? What's this? It's a seed. Take the seed. If you're going to take it, take the seed. I believe you can... Leave it and come back and get it later, but don't quote me on that. A fast-growing seed. No, do not get rid of this seed. <laughs> this is super important. Do not get rid of the seed. With that, we're going to move on. Huh, a gigantic beanstalk. Well, block stalk, I guess. But it didn't come from a bean, it came from a block. Wouldn't that make it a block stalk? Anyway, wow, do you see that? It's a magical beanstalk. Hit the block once more to climb it. Well, I don't see any other place to go, so... How to climb the vines, even though Mario's already climbing it. Vines are positioned from the bottom left to the top right. When you jump, you'll be able to disengage yourself from the vine. Nimbus Department of Transportation. So apparently, uh, the Nimbus Land people get around via vines. Now, don't worry about that new enemy. We'll see plenty of them. <laughs> like here. Frog coin. I'm sure I'll want run into one at some point. Uh, yay, flower. Jump. Oh, gee. Try not to fall off, of course. Jump. I do want to get on... Ah! On this one over here. Uh, and what you want to do is you kind of want to, uh... See, I told you I'd run into one. This is a birdie, and this is a heavy trooper. As you can see, it's a really, really fat Koopa Trooper. I love these things. They, they just look so happy. It's like... Uh... <laughs> Sleepy slash happy. They're just happy to be here. They're also happy to... Bash your skull in. No, I'm not joking. These things hurt. They have 250 HP. I'll make you beautiful. Heavy troopers ready to launch. Now, the thing is, they're really big, so kinda slow. 
you get one turn before, like they said, they're ready to launch. And I told you, happy to bash your skull in. By the way, that's with blocking, is that 42. The heavy trooper will do a lot of damage. 16 XP and 7 coins. If you beat the birdies like that, they actually become a block for you to use. Some of them. Some of them do. Now you're on the... If I would do it right. If you're on the treasure chest, you can actually jump off it. Kind of do this kind of thing. Jump and then up. It would also help if I jump correctly. I always have trouble with this one. I just don't know why. There we go. Another fight. Uh... I think Thunder works decently well. Thunderbolt? Yeah, good enough. Heavy Troopas ready to launch. I just like the way they look. Tell me that you don't like the way the Heavy Troopa looks. He's just so happy. Just floating there. And he tries really hard. Funny that I'm kicking a trooper shell into the heavy trooper. <laughs> there we go. Right. Car coin. Oh well, didn't <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Hi. It's a shame you're so fast. I'd love Mallow just to beat you up. Grinder, which is a bigger version of their basic attack, as you can see, it does a lot of damage, especially if you don't block. Oh, I was hoping Mallow would live through that. At least I can get rid of one come back this is probably the most dangerous fight you'll have and they come up with half HP they come back with more if you time it right but I forget the timing I think it's after the uh, star hits and you're kind of seeing that whole effect where the uh, sparkles go back and forth. I believe it's after that, after you see the whole sparkles go back and forth. So right before the spell ends, you could say. Monster is stunned! That's the deal with uh, Mallow's Thunderbolt against these guys. They don't do well with it. And now we use group up. Caution! Confused monster! That's the also, also the thing that can happen, they become confused. So, Thunderbolt is your friend here. Actually, for this whole upcoming part, I highly recommend having Mallow. He's really good here. 27 DXP, 15 coins, and they have a chance to drop Energizers. And that gets Mario to 16. 9 HP, 6 attack. 4 defense, 4 magic attack, 3 magic defense. That'll make these fights go a bit smoother. We'll take the 4 HP. Mallow reaches 16. 8 HP, 5 attack, 3 defense, 5 magic attack, 3 magic defense. 1 and 1. 1 and 1 will go HP. So like I said, they don't always become platforms. <laughs> Is there anything up here? No. Then there's this jump. You'll want it. You'll have to jump right at the edge of the vine to get there. Ugh. And again, I don't know why. I don't know if it's just the way the vines are kind of positioned. There we go. I, I, 
knew there was an easier way to do this. You can make that jump. This, of course, is an easier way to do it. Oh, thanks for running into me. We're gonna super jump the heavy trooper. Being a Koopa Troopa, that does get rid of them pretty easily, as you can see. You know, something about being weak to Mario's jump. You know, I don't get that reasoning. <laughs> Sarcasm, folks. Monster's done. And also does a good amount of damage, and that's that. A frog coin and a rare scarf. The rare scarf, as you can see, adds 10 to defense and 10 to magic defense. Raises defensive power. This is a pure defensive item, but it's there and it's nice enough to have. Fall down here. You can find a flower and another flower and fall down again. Whee! Hot springs are up ahead, but only royalty can bathe there. And you don't look so royal. But forget you too. Now, you're wondering... If you take the other path, the one I didn't go, you went up the other vine, this is what, what you get to. There are some other coins there, but I like to go and grab the rare scarf. Hmm. Now, I really like the uh, Nimbus, Nimbus Land music, as you can hear. But what I'm going to do, also, is we had some fun with uh, Princess Toadstool. I'm going to be switching out and using Gino. We're going to use these three. We're going to take Mario, Mallow, and Gino for right now. The right spring will just lead you out of the area. All right, everyone, listen up. Shut up! King Nimbus's condition is growing worse. This means we'll be losing our magnificent ruler. But it just so happens that I found the missing prince. Prince Mallow, that is. Prince Mallow, please, sir, Prince, get over here! Well, well, it seems that our little prince has a mild case of stage fright. Excuse me. <laughs> she has that kind of. Come on, make it snappy. What? You can't get through. Oh, well, just look at you, tubby. And push. Introducing Prince Mallow. Welcome back, Prince Mallow. My, you've uh, filled out a bit, Prince Mallow. You're looking fit, Prince. Yes, what is it, dear? <gasps> what? You're asking me to. Gracious, you're serious, aren't you? Why, I don't know what to say. Dear me. I've made my decision. At the request of the prince, I agree to become his queen. <laughs> queen Valentina. Ooh, just makes me shiver. Well, that's that. Back to your business, everyone. Hurry it up, will ya? Oh, so there's a new queen in, uh, in the land. Great. Can you believe it? What a coincidence! There's a prince with the same name as me! Yeah, that is some coincidence. Don't we have anything better to do than hang around here? Come on, let's go and find the rest of the star pieces. Uh, yeah, sure, Mello. Uh, there's an inn here. And this inn is very special. But, first things first. 
Say, you have that! I'm looking for something, look in your eyes. What can I do for you? Here you can find new weapons and armor. Here we have the Mega Glove. Packs a Mega Wallop. We'll get that for Mario. War Fan, a mysterious battle fan. We'll grab that for Toadstool. As you see, there's no upgrades for Bowser. He kind of already had his upgrade in Monstro Town. There's the Hand Cannon. Shoot bullets from elbow. We'll grab that. And the Sticky Glove. Launches a punch attack. We'll grab that. We'll also grab the Fuzzy Shirt, Pants, Cape, and Dress. And let's get everybody equipped. The Mega Glove will give 10 more attack power. And it acts like your basic attack from the very beginning of the game. Except Mario will throw a, an additional punch or two. Uh, it looks cooler. If I remember right, I think it's this glove. <clears throat> Instead of the Sailor Shirt, we're going to get the upgrade to the Fuzzy Shirt. Sticky Glove. Fuzzy Pants. Hand cannon, fuzzy cape, more fan, fuzzy dress, that'll work. Instead of the amulet, we're gonna go the rare scarf and raise uh, Gino's attack power. I may want to give him a true form of him, too. Anyway. There's all that. Let's see. Um, full on items now, huh? Raises allies... Raises allies battle power during battle. I don't think that's the whole group. I think it's just one person. Uh, we'll sell a mid mushroom. And guess we'll go with that. Symbols, handgun, warm glove, parasol, nautical stuff. Okay. Just have some money. Now, there's quite a few things to see here in Nimbus Land. I used to work for King Nimbus, but all of a sudden, one day, Valentina told me I was fired. I just don't get it. He needs help. He's sick. We used to be able to walk through the castle freely. I guess we shouldn't disturb the king now. You seen the volcano? Uh, not yet, no. Volcano's to the east. Sure wish I could take a dip in the springs. Well, no, apparently it's only for royalty. What's that volcano over there? What? Star pieces? Hmm, never heard of them. Well, why did Prince Val Mallow make Valentina his queen? I guess it's because she found him. Is it this? No. Maybe it's later. Prince Mel. As I remember him, he used to be so small, so timid. Now just look at him! King Nimbus loves statues of birds. He has scads of them in the castle. You know about the royal bus? Uh, no. It's a regal vehicle, used only by the king. It's parked now, due to the fact he's ill. Oh. That sounds cool, the royal bus. Bet it's fancy. Guro's house. I'll go there in a bit. Hmm, nothing up there. Thought it happened now. Maybe I'm off. I think it's later. Anyway, let's take a rest at the end. Welcome. Come on in. You want to take a rest? I'm sure that's why you're here. It'll be 30 coins a night. Yeah, it's expensive. That's why I sold some stuff. All right, I'll take a break. Let me guess. You want to use this dream cushion to rest, right? That'll be 30 more coins. Dream cushion, huh? And an additional 30 coins? Well, I'll try anything once. Good dreams are fun entertainment. Oh, that was some dream. Mario dreamt he was being baked.
Morning! Do you have pleasant dreams? That's odd. It smells like pepper in here! Probably just my imagination. <laughs> and yes, he will have something to say depending on what your dream is. But don't think that's the only thing about those dreams that's just for laughs. I'll see if I can't get the special one to come up a little later. There's one dream in particular you want. Let's say you get a neat item out of it. But it's just a chance to get that dream, so you can end up burning a lot of coins trying to get the item. But it's well worth it. Hey, who are you? Can't just barge in here. Sure I can. Ah! Or maybe I can't. Hmm. Well, we'll explore the rest of, Nimbu of uh, Nimbus Land next time. Funny, there's a... A uh, prince has the same name as Mallow in our party. Weird coincidence, huh? Until the next episode. Make sure everybody's equipped. <laughs> then, oh, real quick. Let me go over Gino's uh, spells because we haven't had him in the party in a while. Of course, we know Gino Beam. And I think we've had it, but I've not used Gino Boost. Attack up. If you push wide just before the attack up ends, you also get a defense boost. A, a very, very handy spell, especially in boss battles. Geno Whirl uses eight flowers. Press Y prior to contact for a critical hit. And by critical hit, it means max damage. Now, uh, typically doesn't work against bosses. Typically doesn't work against bosses. However, if you do Geno Whirl right against an enemy, 9,999 damage. I believe it's 9,999 damage in this game. Maybe it's just 999. Don't remember. Any way you do max, the enemy's dead. Uh, very dangerous, but the you have to get the timing right. It's also a tad bit expensive at eight. Now, something you can use much more often is Geno Blast. Costs 12 flowers and has a magic power of 50. Beam hits all foes. Energize. It's a really big version of the Geno Beam. Expensive, but hits all enemies. And you do a lot of damage with it. Geno's good about that. Doing a lot of damage. So there you go. We'll get to see some of his... Uh, his... Spells, as you call it. His specials. In action. Next time. Till then, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you're enjoying this LP. You're having a ton of fun. I know I am. I really enjoy this game. It's just fun to play through. And I hope you're having a lot of fun too. Till the next episode, I'm Cinder 9 Remember to shoot for the stars and take care everyone.